There is a standoff going on in Davao. It's been 12 days since the police uh, raided the compound. Um, they keep saying they're confident that Kibuloy is still there, mm -hmm. potentially hiding in the underground bunkers, even though KOJC disputes that. Uh, what is your interpretation of the law here? Does the law uh, allow the police to stay there indefinitely in the service of the warrant against Kibuloy? Well, warrants of arrest under the rules of court, they can be police can, can do what they can as long as it's reasonable and legal to implement that warrant of arrest. So from what we gather is that the KOJC compound is quite a vast property, 30 hectares. And aside from that, there's there are a lot of nooks and crannies in there that are not that easy to, to look into. And then the past few days, we've seen uh, resistance from the from the subjects of KOJC. So I would say that it's it seems reasonable for the police to continue with their search. Added to that, Yusakti, this has been really on my mind for days now. Um, I've asked some lawyers and no one can seem to give me a straight answer. So I was hoping you could shed some light. In the serving of this arrest warrant, of course, the two camps, I'm sure you're familiar with what both sides are saying. Um, for example, yeah. there's some activity of the police in there, inside the compound. Um, and the members are alleging they can hear drilling, ganun. Can they observe? I mean, do they have a right to, to be there as a, to witness or at least observe what's going on? Or are arrest warrants able to be served without any witnesses, unlike search warrants? There, there can be witnesses for the service of any warrant, whether both a, a search warrant or an arrest warrant. But then again, we just leave it to the police. They're the ones who are there on the ground. They are the ones who know the, know, know the lay of the land, mm -hmm. how safe it is. And because we have to realize that there has been significant resistance on the part of individuals, on, on the part of the subjects of KOGC. So, you know, let, let's leave it to the police to, to exercise their discretion as to what's reasonable under the circumstances. What if our... Uh co-anchors and editors Ed Lingao actually pointed out the specific ruling to us. He says rule 126 of the rules of criminal procedure require at least two witnesses for the premises being searched. Uh, requires okay, two that, That's for search warrant. Uh, that's Correct. a search warrant. It doesn't provision. apply to uh, arrest warrants? It's not. It's not. This is a warrant of arrest. But I would I would say that it's, it shouldn't. It's, it's good. It, it would be prudent to have witnesses during the course of the implementation of an arrest warrant. Prudent but not by law, necessary. Depends on the circumstances. Again, it's it, again we leave it to the police to determine what is reasonable right. under the circumstances that they're facing. Thanks so but much for clearing that but up. But that's the problem, it seems, mm. Yusek, because uh, we have been talking to KOJC's mm. legal counsel, Attorney Torion, as well, and we have seen the footage with our own eyes, and we've had reporters on the mm -hmm. ground, and we know that the KOJC members, for instance, are being barred from entering... Uh, for instance, the Jose Maria College. Mm -hmm. uh, the basement. Where, the yeah. ba mm -hmm. Specifically, the basement where, where allegedly drilling is happening. They're being barred from entering. Also, the, also cathedral, the cathedral, which the Commission on Human Rights has already flagged. Yes. So, so again, the, the DOJ, what is the DOJ's responsibility here in ensuring that this search, this service of arrest warrant is still being carried out lawfully? Well, I, I heard, I read from the news that KOJC intends to bring this case to, I think, the, the Davao Council, the Davao local government, as well as the Commission on Human Rights. So perhaps those are the proper venues to make a determination if the behavior of the police has been reasonable during the course of this operation. So that's the only way to resolve uh, the issue or the question, uh, Yusek, because Siyempre, no, kung dadaling pa sa korte, magtatagal pa yan eh. And uh, in the yeah. meantime, more things could be happening and contested in the future. Which could also blow back eventually, right? Uh, down the line, kung magkakasuhan na once this is all over. Um, yun nga po eh, uh, is the DOJ planning to step in? Or just, like you said, let the police exercise their discretion? Well, let's not forget the background of all this. The, the primary issue here is not really the, the means of the implementation of the police of the search warrant. It's actually the implementation of the search warrant. And there has been a lot of resistance to the implementation of the search warrant, which impelled our police to 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 take it take it beyond what is ordinary to take it beyond what they usually go through. And at the same time, I think I know it's been said a lot, but you know this this matter can be can be ended simply by the surrender of Pastor Kibole. Is the DOJ still confident then that the again whatever operations are being conducted down there is well within the bounds of the law? 
Well, again, we just leave it up to the police because they're the ones on the ground. They're the ones who who, who truly face the, the challenges. They're the ones who see just how vast and intricate this compound is. So if ever there will be a question, that would that should arise later on. If ever Pastor Kibolo is indeed indeed arrested, that's another thing that his camp can raise. So no, no, no one from KOGC has approached the Justice Department, who is after all responsible for making sure that justice you know, is that is deserved by everybody is actually being followed. Some cases have been filed. Some cases have mm. been filed yep. in, in the prosecutor's office against um, secretary, secretary himself and as well as other policemen. Yeah. But these were prior to this this recent this recent operation. If if they want to file cases in the DOJ, they can. They are welcome to do so. And those will be entertained just like any other case. Okay, uh, we've run out of time, although we still have a lot of questions. But thank you so much for <laughs> indulging us tonight, Undersecretary, DOJ Undersecretary Nicholas T.